Welcome to the National Ice Centre then, it is a very special night indeed, an afternoon and night that's sure to be one to remember, there's Nottingham Sheffield to come, but first of all the Panthers legends against the Nottingham Leopards, you can see down on the pictures the Nottingham Leopards just having a photograph, the youngsters under 18s just having a photograph and the Nottingham Legends players are being announced by Gary Moran. And that big cheer is for Rastistar Rovnianek. Just quickly through the numbers, uh, these in no particular order. Well, they are in alphabetical order, I'll give you them. Kimar Roos, number six. Jeff Anderson, number three. John Bremner, number eight. Kali Carlson, number 77. Simon Hunt, number 13. Miko Korvenoiru, number 19. Simon Perkins, 17. Ross Lambert, nine. Paul Moran, 42. Rastislav Rovnianek, number four. Rick Strachan, number seven and Mike Urkop, number 22. It's quickly down the leopard side as well. Sam Gospel, number one. Number four, Danny Rose. Loris, Lawrence Shellwares, five. Elliot Perrin, six. Callum Bowley, seven. Will Weldon, nine. Some names you might know there. 11, Dean Swain. 12, Josh Pascoe. 13, Reese Glossop. 17, Matt Greaves. 21, Stephen Curran. 22, Tom Saw. 23, Christy Johnson-Brown. 31 is Connor Ramby, and the mascot was young Sam Sack Glossop. We're nearly here, nearly ready to go. The referee tonight is Simon Kirkham. He's come out of retirement. Andy French, the director of hockey operations, is alongside me. How's Simon going to fare, do you think? I wonder if he's actually blown the uh, dust off of his shirt. I uh, haven't seen him in one of them for a long time. <laughs> I think he's had to uh, have a new pair of legs as well to get going. He's a about to drop the puck for the first time at the National Ice Centre for a long time. And Miko Koivanoru wins that one. Gives it to Caddy Carlson, but forward come the Leopards. Down the left-hand side, number nine there, Will Weldon. He's dressed for the Panthers before. Paul Moran gets the puck and looks forward and looks for Callie Carlson. Carlson, of course, fireman now in Manchester. Bowley coming forward. He just gets dispossessed of the puck by Carlson. Probably still in great shape, Callie Carlson. If you're going to be fighting fires every day. Pass looking for Moran down the right-hand side. Arus looks up. Moran drives towards the slot. Strikes me, Moran played here a few weeks ago in the university game. Forward come the Leopards, saved by Rovnianek and picked up by Kali Carlson. Nice crowd in for the game here. I would say at least 500, if not more. Behind the net for the Leopards and then Hunt gets it. Now that Panthers come forward, the Legends with Perkins, left-hand side. Oh, shot comes in, it's dropped, is it? And the Legends have scored with Simon Hunt. Simon Hunt comes down the left-hand side. It's dropped by the netminder. And the Legends take the lead. Andy French, what do you think to that? Well, did the, did the puck cross the line? Well... I'm not quite sure whether it actually went in, to be honest. Do you think we want a video replay of that? I'm not sure if it went in. Well, no one seems to be complaining. But that is the first goal. And it is goal number one, 13. Simon Hunt gets confirmed as the first goal. And an assist to Jeff Anderson. First goal of the night, scored by Simon Hunt. Great to see these guys back on the ice and great to see so many people supporting the charity. Panthers raising money, of course, and a donation was suggested and all this money is going to go towards charity. Two and a half minutes nearly gone in the session here at the NIC. Dumped into the corner. It's special for these guys to be back here. There's some uh, good and up-and-coming, uh, probably Panthers fans here on this Leopards team. Oh, that one's gone in. Oh, they've that tied one. it up. Absolutely, from the corner. And I think that final touch is going to go. Well, let's have a look. Out of nowhere, Rovnianek maybe not as sharp as he used to be, but perhaps that final touch went to Johnson Brown, maybe. 
Certainly took a couple of deflections. And we're at 1 1. We'll await the announcement from Steph. Yeah, Johnson Brown getting the goal. And the assist going to Reese Glossop. So there's some special moments for them to say to their family that they've played at the National Ice Centre and will we see some of these as Andy said in the future Nottingham coming forward Paul Moran falls over Koiva Noru tries to get the puck going forward and Gary's having an interview with uh, John Bremner on the bench and it's the legends with Cali Carlson right hand side Carlson just has the puck feeds it towards the middle for Koiva Noru Moran and that's given away and Rovninek comes all the way out his net. That strikes me, that was the end where he saved his penalties. Where he saved that winning penalty shot for Mark Smith when Panthers won the playoffs. Moran comes forward now. Drop pass for Arus. Arus looks to the centre. You know Kimi Arus, don't you, from Cardiff, Andy? Yes, I do. I remember Kim Arus uh, playing in Cardiff uh, when I was actual general manager there type of guy I mean I remember him from here he was a great guy was he a real team player does that ring a bell from his Cardiff days yeah he was um, I think to be honest I think he would probably still be playing if it wasn't the amount of concussions that he received no his career ended sadly too early because of those concussions and we always remembered by Panthers fans for scoring the, the winning goal of course in the Challenge Cup final in Sheffield 2004 that's frozen by the netminder what about some of these older players? What about the likes of Ross Lambert? Can you remember those guys? Yeah, I remember Ross Lambert. when he uh, Didn't he have a spell in Humberside for quite some time? Yeah, he did. I think he did, yeah. Absolutely. In fact, I mean, uh, how long did he spend in uh, Nottingham? Just two years. I thought it was more than that. 123 games, 122 goals, 203 assists and, and 325 points. It's not a bad return, is it? Wasn't he? He was there with uh, Mike Bishop, wasn't he? He was there for quite a while with him. Yeah. I think you're absolutely right. That's a bit before my time, but it absolutely rings true. And I'm sure people getting a nod from Steve, the cameraman, Steve Wilkinson. He probably saw them. Steve's 100 now. It's a little secret no one knows. <laughs> Only joking, Steve. Anyway, the, uh, the youngsters of the future, the stars as they're being known tonight, the stars of the future. A lovely little emblem, stars of the future, was on the screen before the game almost like the Back to the Future logo it was. Stars of the Future, playing the Nottingham Legends, and it is the Legends in possession with the puck. Rick Strachan there, right-hand side. He's got a bench to run in a now or so's time. Simon Hunt battling for the puck. He was a true favourite. Simon Hunt was a, a true favourite among certainly men's Nottingham fans, wasn't he? He was indeed, and I was just uh, looking here at the uh, stats for John Bremner. Remember the times I used to go and... Uh, Watch him when I was with him um, uh, with Peterborough uh, many years ago. I started there in '83, and uh, Bremner started here in '81, uh, '82. Hey, John Bremner was a, a stay-at-home D-man, whatever there was one, wasn't he? He was the stay-at-home D-man. He was the tough guy. He yeah. was everything. 217 points from 559 games, 69 goals he scored. Paul Morant has the puck now, and now the. Youngsters coming forward. That's sweet skills there from Johnson Brown, who was credited with that first goal. Nearly seven minutes gone. It's been a fun start to the game. We've seen Rovnin pull off a save. Probably have one that he'll want back. And the legend scoring through Simon Hunt. Just battling going on in the corner. As I say, it's a nice crowd, and the crowd's filling up the longer the game goes on. So every time we see a extra person in the crowd that's more money for charity and people have already dug deep Moran coming forward right hand side cross ice pass for Kim Arus who still looks in good shape Arus who always quite lean and he gives it to Anderson who shoots from right side oh and that's safe nice save was a good save wasn't it because it was through traffic and the youngsters are coming away with Callum Bowley and it goes for the wraparound attempt does Will Weldon and that is behind the net that was a good move from Will Weldon I say another youngster that's had time with the Panthers 
some good stars of the future being coached on that bench. You can see Matt Bradbury there, Paul Glossop and Paul Whitby on the bench. Some good coaches here at the NIC. Gary speaking to Jeff Anderson now, all the way from Niagara Falls, he's come over. He's probably been one of the furthest to travel. Nearly nine minutes gone in the session, and the battling's going on in the corner. And Lambert trying to come away, and now Moran will feed it to Perkins, right-hand side. Perkins shoots to save this mate. This little kid looks all right, doesn't he, as we said, Andy? Yes, he does, yes. I was just uh, on that last shift there, I was just looking how uh, Mike Urquhart was faring up. How is he faring up? Is he, uh, is, um, is he keeping the pace? I think, he's, uh, I think he's finding the pace a little bit tough already, to be honest. More to the point, you, in a few hours' time, you'll be assessing referees. How's the ref doing? I don't think he's keeping up with play well enough. No, he's not. He's, um, I think he's better off when he's actually uh, supervising games. At the, and <laughs> he, he, ha he has said to me as well, is there any chance of him getting the game back? But I don't think that's going to happen either. <laughs> I wonder whether he'll ache as well in the morning. Oh, he, he'll probably be aching before the next game takes place. <laughs> Hunt comes in. Oh, that's nice a good save. save. Perkins gets the rebound. That one goes into the netting behind the net. But no, he's not had to make any calls yet. Just uh, going back to Simon. Um, when you look over his whole career, obviously he's a Nottingham boy through and through too. Yeah. How different, I mean, you know, the era where people like Simon Perkins played and, and Simon Hunt, how different was that era to the one that we see now? Uh, you had, well, in the era when Simon was in his prime with, as a referee, uh, you know, and obviously you had Ken Taggart here as well. Yeah. And um, he, he learned, Simon learned all his officiating from Ken Taggart stroke Nico Tymon. And uh, in that era, we only had um, three imports. Of course, yeah. You know, and the, and the British talent was there. You know, the Cooper brothers, and the, oh, we can yeah. go on and on and on and on. There were yeah. so many. Well, the youngsters coming forward. Oh, nice and goal. that's a nice finish from Callum Bally. Again, another player that I keep mentioning has had some time with Panthers. Bally scores. Sweet feed as well from the right-hand side. And the, the youngsters... They're doing themselves proud against the old men out there. 2 1 to the stars of the future. I can just see uh, David Sims on the uh, bench on the far side. Next break in play, I might get Steve to pan that way. So it is Bowley. Tom Saw getting the assist. Tom Saw, there's a player that was with me with uh, England 14s. Mm. Again, another one for the future, another one that's had time with the Panthers. There's a number of names on this roster that have. And it strikes me, of course, some of them would have been away with GB 18s as well, won't they? Yeah, they have. They're, they're definitely 18s, and uh, I think there's a few of them actually close or been away with the 20s as well. But when you go back, like when you watch them coming through the structure, when they start at England 13s, 14s, 15s, 16s, then they start hitting the GB scene. I, uh, well, you, I did some research for that GB under 20s tournament, the uh, the World Championships, and went through the IIHF website. It was, it was amazing to see because you know there was guys in the under 20s tournament just pause. Oh, because that's a a miss shot in front. But now the youngsters are coming away. It's a breakaway. Oh, good work from Rovnianek. The breakaway was from. Danny Rose and Rovnianek makes the save. But now I was saying that there's, there's some names that I researched. It's a two on one. It is. Come to the story in a minute. Perkins is up there. Perkins nice save. Makes nice bad shot. Save. It was a good save, wasn't it? Young Gospel making another save. But He's now, pulled off some big saves there. Well, apart, I mean, the first one he let in maybe was a little bit of nerves in front of a bit of a crowd. But since then, I'd say he's made two or three good saves. But what I was saying, Andy, was looking at the research at GB under 20s was some of the names that score freely at, at under 20 level, but we don't see now. I mean, the names were in there like David Clark and, you know, and Matthew Myers and then uh, people like Jonathan Phillips. But there was a lad, Wallace, Stephen Wallace, and 
uh, from Billingham. Yeah, well, you know, he was from the Billingham area, yeah, from uh, the northeast. And he may um, still be playing EPL, I think, now. Uh, I'm not sure. Here's a three on one break for the youngsters. Puck comes to the back door, and Bowley just can't get his shot away. But there were some players from the under 20 tournaments of this sort of you know, turn of the century, 2000, 2001, who are no longer playing in the top leagues. Arus to Moran, Arus now to Carlson. Carlson goes to take the shot, and again, young netminder there, Gospel gets it's in the two way. On one. Here we go. Shot comes in, and Rovnianek makes a save. His famous blue helmet he's wearing, of course. There's Bremner on the puck. And the Nottingham Legends, 2-1 down. It's Kelly Carlson on the puck. Did you know that there was a World Championship Fireman's uh, World Championships take place in New York every year? So really, I wonder whether he knows that. Uh, it's, do you remember Stephen V. Johnson that used to play hockey? No. Uh, he's, he a fi he's a fireman and he's uh, organising the team from Great Britain. The firefighters from Great Britain are going to New York to the World Championships for um, firefighters uh, in August this year. Maybe Cal is going then. If he's, if he's not, someone needs to tell him. Wouldn't be a great player for them on that roster. You can you'll imagine, like, even... Just pause, because the GB youngsters are coming forward. or call them the GB youngsters. That's because we've been talking about GB, the Nottingham youngsters. Oh, that hit there on uh, Urquhart. <laughs> Was it a bit of a... Well, of course, they were no Urky, weren't they? Well, he's uh, probably their coach. He probably <laughs> is their coach. They'll probably be enjoying every moment of this. Strachan's a little quiet out there, isn't he? Just patrolling her. Yeah, he is. <laughs> just on the point there, just skating up and down. You might have I think some, his uh, mind's on mm, elsewhere, don't you? You might have some energy to preserve. Well, there he is now. Go on, Rick. He always talks a good game. You've seen him on Sky talking a good game. See if he can play a good game. Well, that's a save by Rovnianek. Not a bad little shot in the end from... It was well done again. Nottingham coming forward with Moran. Nice poke check. Was Matt Greaves. Picked up by Bowley. Scorer of the second goal goes around. Who was that he went around? Shot comes in. Ooh, shot wide. It was Bremner he went around. I don't think Bremner would have that happened uh, 20 years ago, would no, he? No, he wouldn't. No, not at all. <laughs> not without getting a punch. Paul Moran comes forward. Oh, Moran shoots. Lovely finish by Mo. Nice goal. Top shelf. Go shelf right-hand corner. 2-2. Two -two. Nice finish from Paul Moran. Somebody goes flying to the ground there. Kimi Aarhus in celebration, perhaps. It's 2-2. Two -two. That's a good finish by Mo. Is it? You're meant to talk then when I ask you a question, you know. I said, you're meant to talk then when I ask you a question. <laughs> I was just writing the um, scores down. <laughs> no, but it was a great finish, eh? So Kim Arus gets the uh, gets the assist when uh, Kimmy was here. That was a nice goal there. I was just uh, making sure we recorded the uh, score and the assist there. 48 goals and 61 assists for Kimi Alvus. Very thorough, Andy. There you go. I apologise for interrupting you there. Try the hit to John Bremner. 2 2 then. Strikes me that I don't know all the rules. Are we going to a penalty shootout and this one finishes level? That'd be fun. That could be interesting, couldn't it? Certainly could. Perkins. That's a nice drop pass. And Carlson. Carlson's all over the play, all yeah. over the ice. You isn't can it? tell Carlson keeps fit, can't you? You the can. He hasn't stopped skating, not stood still. You can tell Carlson keeps fit. You can tell Paul Moran still plays. You can, you can and Kimi Alrus. You can just see the ones that um, yeah still put them skates on. I bet Kimi back home plays in a rec league or something. I would definitely think that. Here comes Paul Moran again. He drives towards the slot. Oh, and if that puck had just. Bounce the other side, but again, Sam Gospel goes down and makes the save. Crowd still gets bigger. They're still drifting in, aren't they? Stephen, just go to the Steelers bench or where the Steelers bench will be. I can see Mr. Dave Sims at the back there. 
I wonder what he's thinking now about the Steelers title race. That nearly well, backfired. Well, I think, um, I think their minds are uh, going to be pretty focused after yesterday, don't you? Yeah. One point now between the Giants in second and the Steelers in the lead. A huge game on Saturday night, and then there's a huge one to come. Well, here's big for them, and then Wednesday. Koivinoru. Slightly bigger, Miko, than I remember him. Maybe uh, maybe Kimmy should do his helmet up, eh? <laughs> yeah. yeah see see the, the strap flying around? Yeah. There you go. Come on, Simon. That's one to have a word with him. Yeah. Um, that'd be illegal equipment, wouldn't it? I think so. You can't have your straps flapping around like that. See, Carlson comes away from two and then a third man, but he's stopped by Stephen Curran. Yeah, that is illegal equipment. The ref's not doing his job. That's a fine. Fine him when we when you go down and see him. Oh dear, Rovnik next got in a bit of trouble behind the net there, but he's helped out by Paul Moran and then Rick Strachan, and that's a nice pass. And it's going to be Hunt on a breakaway. Oh, that's a good back check in there, wasn't it? But Hunt gets it back, and then the save oh. is made. See the. Uh Comes in there, the goalie's got the puck covered, and Simon Hunt, as feisty as ever he used to be. Goes in on the netminder, doesn't he? Come on, you've got, you got to go two minutes there for charging, Simon Kirkham. I'm wondering, you know, in his position right now, if he actually remembers the rules when he's on the ice. <laughs> I haven't seen him call a penalty yet at all. No, no, he? and there's, there's been plenty of hooking as well. It could have been a goalie interference for two minutes there, for sure. Connor Ranby has uh, got into the net, so we're seeing a change in net mind up. But that was great back checking, wasn't it? I think I said Josh Pascoe. I have to say that this um, Leopards team, they're, they're, they are, you know, they're, they're skating their hearts out, out here, aren't they? They're a good side. I mean, Nottingham have always had good junior teams, and, and this Nottingham Leopards team is, is no different. And, you know, you can see why. It's just the uh, English, are they, they play in the, uh, um, are they top of their division? Yes, they are. Yeah, in fact, I think they've won their division. They've won their division. I think they have, yeah. So they'll be playing in the, um, the finals then? I, I, I'd expect so, yeah. I'm pretty sure they've won their division. The Leopards, is that like the e &L team in the English National League? And the Lions play in the English National League. Oh, okay. So and this the is Leopards like the, the under-18 under team? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So there'll be a few of these players, uh, I would think, that are selected for the England-Scotland uh, Junior International. Yeah, oh, absolutely. In fact, the likes of uh, Bowley and Weldon have already played them. I'm pretty sure both of them played last year. One minute to go. I'm just looking at the notes here. Or I'm just stealing from Gary Moran's uh, programme notes. Um, they lifted the league title for the first time in nine seasons with a record oh, unblemished wins this season. So uh, hats off to them. They've lifted the league title. Oh, that's excellent. As I say, they've got a good coaching setup here at the NIC. Koivanoru. Just behind him is Arush. They were a deadly double act. Gives it to Moran. Back to Koivanoru. Shoots, oh. but that's charged down by... Block shot. I think it's Christy Johnson who might be hurting, feeling that one. In fact, it was he'll, Tom he'll Saw. He'll skate that off. Another lad, Tom Saw, who's had time with the Panthers. There's some good lads here. There's a, there's a hook in right in front of Mr. Kirkham there. Yeah. He didn't see it, but look, the stars of the future have a chance on net. Final 12 seconds. And the puck is in the offensive zone for the youngsters. It's played off the boards. And that is the end of the period. Legends 2, Stars 2. And that is 2-2. Two, two. End of the period, end of the game. And we'll just stay with you for the post-match celebrations. No penalty shootout. I think fair, fair way to end the game is to have the spoils shared, really, isn't it, Andy? It is indeed. I think uh, I think everybody's very uh, very pleased with that down there. I think they've enjoyed that. So we we'll see the handshakes.
you pick out one player from each side, Andy, for man of the match, from uh, for the 20 minutes we saw, uh, uh, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the old men? For the old men, I think, I, I wouldn't say he's that old actually, but I think I'd have to go with uh, Kim Alroos for the work that he done, to be honest. Kim Alroos, okay, I'll go with Caddy Carlson, and for the, uh, for the Leopards? I like the 22. Tom Saw. Tom Saw, yeah. And I'm going to go for the netminder, Connor Ranby, who I thought had an excellent game. And, and if you're rating your referee in chief, Simon Kirkham, out of 10, how many does he get? <laughs> I would only be giving him uh, on a grading. He'd probably only be getting about a three or a four on that performance. Did you see him break speed in escape? No, no, no. I don't, I don't think he's even broken sweat either. I didn't, uh, I didn't see him... Break into a stride skating. I think I think uh, Paul Staniforth, the linesman, has had a good loose up there before the next game. Yeah, absolutely. And you're now just seeing a, a team photo. That will be a special memento for some of the young Nottingham lads here and the young mascot. His name is uh, Zach Glossop. So by my powers, he must be related to Reet Glossop. I'd say they're brothers. Don't think that takes much working out. But no, that's a, it's a lovely way to, to raise money. I noticed Sheffield have plans to do something as well next season. I, I've noticed they release plans. But it's always good for the fans to, to remember these guys. Because a lot of them, you know, played in the old barn. Yeah, listen to the noise and the, and the reception that they're getting. It's, uh, it's a good crowd in here now. Uh, I mean, absolutely. I'd say there's at least, you know, what, 1,500 in here now? Oh, that's good. Yeah. And you are right. I've, uh, I have, I've heard briefly that Sheffield are thinking of doing something um, next year. See Mr. Sims over there applauding as well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll leave you with the uh, lap of honour. And uh, thanks very much, Andy, for joining us on the DVD. No problem at all. I enjoyed that. It was good. Me too. Good to have you here. Gary, of course, if you're wondering why I'm boring you, Gary, busy today with the uh, Legends game and everything going on. So you've got me later as well for the big occasion, the big league game, Nottingham Panthers against the Sheffield Steelers. But a great way to get things off to the start. The Legends 2, the Stars 2 in the charity fundraiser.